Let's talk about my exes. No, I'm not using my exes for clickbait again. That's not happening. I have experienced the ick very badly. Very, very badly at over the most stupid things. Things are gonna get exposed. Things are gonna, you know, just keep watching. Ask on Instagram, like I always do, which is why you need to follow if you aren't already. Follow the Insta, otherwise you're gonna miss out and you're not gonna get things in the videos. I know. Fat ass list of icks. Clearly everyone's just hating on men. Just I'd go through my personal icks first, then I'd go on to the more reacting to my followers icks. I think that's what I'm gonna call the video. This is just when I've experienced the ick. When they do drugs and when they smoke, when someone smokes every single day, no. And like posting it on your story about because you're smoking, that is a huge ick. And then drugs, when all they want to do is drugs. Just like, not even like, do you know what's really, really made me feel sad for some people? Is what, and then they're doing drugs, like they're not even able to go out, like and like go to like a club or like go to somewhere to experience it. They're just doing it at home, like alone. No, that is an ick, that is a big fat ick. When they like you back. No, I wouldn't say this is an ick, this is a problem of mine. What my issue is, I will really like someone, I will just be like really interested until I get them, and then I'm like, okay, I'm not really interested anymore. But if I have, if I know someone's there, like I don't I don't really fancy them that much because I just know do you know what I mean I like a chase but that's the problem when I've accomplished the chase it's not I don't know I don't know it's really fucked it's really I mean I've had relationships before it just maybe it just depends on the person but when they like you back yeah that is an ick um when they have no future planned and no work ethic that involves when they don't have a job like at your big age you don't have a job that that is a huge it for me but it's like when they have no future like they have no idea what they want to do they don't have any interests they're just like happy like carrying on like just doing whatever like i like someone that's motivated that has like a few like a future plan and it's like yeah i want to do this 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 and this so, like i like that and that's just like a sense of maturity some people don't have at this age but that is a huge ick i just find it really off putting in somebody bad table manners and loud chewing now my family know loud chewing isn't just an ick for boys it is an ick i can't sit at the table once i've finished eating and listen to people eat because it makes, it just makes me, oh, oh, I hate the sound of chewing, like, do you know what, right, it's okay, but it's when people go like, and that is what my family do, and I can't sit there and tolerate it, sometimes I just have to leave the table, if a boy does it, oh, I don't know what I would do, like, I would just be like, sorry, this isn't gonna work, the huge list of my followers ones, so the ones that were cropping up the most, like a lot of them reoccurred, one of them was being called princess or baby or the I'm sorry voice and now, oh my fucking god, this is just no, like when they, when they, when you say to them like, oh shut up and they're like, sorry with like the freaking eyes, like no, that's not what I want you to say, like, I want you to be like, yeah, like I just don't want boys to be like, oh sorry, like, mm, like that voice, oh no, don't, don't. Oh, that is such an ick. I hate that. And then as well, princess and baby, though. Unless you're in a relationship, I would never be called princess. I wouldn't tolerate that. Unless you're in a relationship, being called baby is just a bit like... Depends on the person. Depends on, like, the nature of the sentence. Like, if it seems it's in a casual way, or, like, whatever. But some people are just like, baby. Or, like, even in a relationship, like... I get why people don't like it, I'm not the biggest fan, and I get why that's an ick. Then I've got some more like scenario ones, so I'm gonna do the scenarios. So, jumping up and down at a concert, just imagining a boy jumping up and down at a concert. Now, the thing is, I don't think this is that bad. I would find it cringe to watch myself do that. Like, if I could, if I saw a video, I'd cringe at myself. So I don't think that one's that bad, but I get what you mean rapping on and singing and messing up the words boys that think they can rap they just they just are the like the biggest fans like, usually the ones that are they're trying so hard so when they mess up it's just like come on a boy in a bath 
Now, when I thought of this, I just thought of a boy like in a bath like this. I'm just like, no, I don't think, I don't think. Unless it was like a huge bath, like a huge one with like lots of bubbles. Like, like, do you know, in like a scented bath, but like in a little bath in a normal house, just like on the side and just them in the bath. I just can't imagine that. I think that would give me an ick, just them like floating in the water. I don't really, I don't really like that. Boys who say baby or babe. Babe is fine, unless it's like, yo, babes, what are you doing, babes? What's this, babes? Like, that's too much. Like, that's just really annoying. I'm just trying to be a roadman. But like, babe occasionally is fine. And in a relationship, babe is fine. But I get what you mean, because people overuse it and it's really, really annoying. Someone said farmers, and I agree. Well, no. Some farmers are nice, and they buy free drinks. Other farmers, go with your best friends, because they just can't move outside the friendship group, see? Because they just, they can't get anyone else. Did you say my stomach rumble? The amount of ones I got where it was like, food round his mouth, tomato stain, Ooh, I could not deal with that. Do you know why? I tell you why it's an ick for us girls, because it makes them look like a child. And you just think of them as a child. Um, acting up in front of their mates. This is the biggest ick ever. If you did this and you're my boyfriend, we'll be having serious discussions on the way back. I fucking hate it when they like try to embarrass you in front of your friends and stuff. Like only if you're in a relationship. If you're just like talking or whatever, like you can't expect an amazing job in the background the whole time. Oh for God's sake! When they just try so hard to be like a lads, 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 lads. I mean, I get boys banter. Like, but when they just completely act up and like try and embarrass you as much as they can, it's just like, stop. That is the biggest thing in the world. When they get mad over Xbox at your big age, like are you year seven, when you're getting mad over an Xbox, like at your big age. Like, I know they'll be like, oh, like, and you don't understand, like when you're involved in the game, like, I'm the most competitive bitch you're ever gonna meet. If you come to my family games night, if you're lucky enough, you will see me like rage. However, over a simulated game. Like, they fucking get so mad people punch walls, they throw headsets and break them. I mean, that was because of me, but like, you know. I get getting pissed off, right? Like, you've like lost your game. Like, but to get that mad, like, some boys just go absolutely mental. Smelly breath, which I definitely agree with. Like, if you can't have hygiene on your over yourself, then how are we gonna last in a relationship? Like, if you can't manage to brush your teeth properly and like take mouthwash if it's that bad, then. Like, why don't you want to kiss someone with bad breath? So that is a really, really bad one. Clinginess, and I completely agree. Like, if somebody is like, hasn't got, like, say you're in a relationship and like, they kind of like, cut off all their friends to like, focus on only you. So if I have someone that's clinging, I wouldn't be able to deal with that because I value time with my friends as much as I value time with my boyfriend. Like, I've never had an issue with an imbalance of that. So, if someone was too clingy with me, I really, really wouldn't like it. Cockiness. Now, so you have to have confidence. Confidence is obviously good. And their ego is huge. I really don't like that. I think that's really unattractive. Like, confidence is the best thing ever. But to be cocky about stuff, I don't like. Like, it just sometimes just comes across really arrogant. Rose and lion tattoos. And yeah, it's like the typical F-boy tattoo, isn't it? Like, roses and lions and, like, clocks. Like, I mean, can we have some originality, please? But yeah, that is an off put. Like, some tattoos that boys get, I'm just like, no, 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 no. Another one was when they're too nice, and I completely agree. Like, when I don't know, I can't explain it, but when someone's overly, overly, overly nice, I just won't like. I don't, I think it's because you see them more as a friend. I don't know if that makes sense or not. It sounds stupid because you'd be like, oh, if someone's really, really nice, it would make you want to like them more but for me it's just kind of like okay like they're my friend if that makes sense not that boys should treat you badly but it's just the traits of some people that was all the eggs i have today i literally loved reading through those i hadn't read through them properly i'd kind of like wrote them down and like forgot about them a little bit but you guys get the ick over literally anything i mean i wouldn't say i'm as bad but i do get the ick over like particular things but if you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and follow my instagram i'm nearly at 4k and i'll see you next time bye